I just spent three months with the Tab S9 Ultra and I'm not disappointed, but I'm not sure that I'm blown away either. So let's talk about what Samsung did here and thank you to Walmart for sponsoring a portion of this video. For starters, this is an iterative upgrade over the Tab S8 Ultra, which I love. And I still remember the first time that I turned that display on because it's just so big and beautiful. And that might actually be part of the issue here. See, Samsung set the bar so high with the previous model where I I was super curious to see how they were going to top it. Now, things like the overall size and design mostly stayed the same. Like sure, the camera module and charging strips have been upgraded and you can now charge the new S Pen regardless of which way it's pointing. Now, this isn't a massive change, but it does remove a bit of potential friction in terms of user experience. For me, over the past three months, a more meaningful improvement has been the IP68 rating for both the tablet and the new S Pen. So now we have protection from water and dust. Now I'm not the most careful person I always have drinks on my desk. There's actually one right here. And I've definitely had my share of spills. I'm just glad my keyboard can't talk. So knowing that this expensive gear offers additional protection over the previous model might not be something that would make me want to upgrade, but it is a clear advantage. And if you want to watch a full detailed comparison of the two tablets, I'll link to that video at the end of this one. Now, in my day-to-day -day use, I've absolutely loved the size of the Tab S9 Ultra. This 14.6 inch display is massive. It's incredible for watching movies. And because it's so thin, it really feels like you're using something out of Minority Report. Now, if I'm replying to emails or working on a video, I love the fact that I can have two usable apps side by side. You see, a lot of tablets have split view, but if the display isn't big enough, it's just a bit cramped. Now you can actually have three tiled apps on the Tab S9 Ultra and it still feels usable. And that's something that's helpful when I'm doing research and I'm looking at multiple sources at once. Now, I've also gotten a lot of questions from you in the comment section about whether this tablet is too big. Now, I always carry my tablet in a backpack, like regardless of what size it is. So even with a keyboard case, size and weight are not really an issue for me. But having said that, if you put your tablet in a purse or in a smaller bag, or if maybe you just carry it by hand, then I can definitely see how a smaller tablet would be more comfortable. Now, one other area where size has been an issue for me is gaming. Now, I play a lot of PUBG Mobile and holding this tablet up for a long period of time was definitely getting very tiring for my hands. And I prefer to game on a smaller tablet or I just add grips on the back. Now, if you play with the tablet on the desk or a pillow, then this isn't really an issue for you. And the larger display is actually great because you can see smaller movements or someone trying to hard scope you from behind a tree. Now, the display itself shares a lot of specs with the previous model, like 120 hertz, same resolution, and aspect ratio, but it's not really the same display. You see, this is a dynamic AMOLED 2X display, which has better contrast because it's more capable of showing true black levels and depth. It also has better color accuracy and reduced blue light emission, so it's better for your eyes. Now, in terms of the image quality, I don't know that the typical person would notice a difference. Not necessarily because it's not there, but because the previous panel was already so good. Having said that, I'm definitely going to give the Tab S9 Ultra the edge when it comes to brightness. And that's always a bonus because a lot of times I'm in situations where I have to deal with reflections or I may be working near really big windows at a coffee shop. In terms of port, there was no upgrade. So we're getting USB-C 3.2 and 45 watt fast charging, which I found to work well. The battery life is already very good on the Tab S9 Ultra. So I'm easily finishing a typical day without a problem. And when I needed a charge, I felt like 45 watts was fast enough to get enough charge in a short period of time. And at the same time, I didn't have to worry about a fast charger potentially damaging the battery. Now, I was a little disappointed that I had to get a new keyboard case and I couldn't use the one from my Tab S8 Ultra. See, the Tab S9 and Tab S9 Plus also couldn't use the previous model cases, but I've been using those cases since the Tab S7 series, so I felt like I got more value out of them. And with the Tab S9 Ultra, I feel like I just bought the one for the 8 last year and it already doesn't fit. Now, again, that's very specific to me 
me and the typical person isn't really going to run into that because they're not upgrading their tablet every year. And speaking of upgrading brings me to my new gaming room and today's sponsor Walmart where you can find all your favorite products on walmart.com or with the Walmart app. So let's say you're in the market for a new console. Like, Is there a better time to pick one up than right now? I don't think so. And by the way, are you going with the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox X? Let me know. Or maybe you want a game, but you don't want to be stuck in the same spot all the time, in which case you should check out the Nintendo Switch OLED and take your gaming with you anywhere. I had to grab this one with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And for the new gaming room, I needed to pick up some accessories like this awesome Minecraft mini fridge. So this way I always have a nice cold drink within reach. I also wanted to get some fun decorations for my setup and something to do when I take a break from gaming. So check out these awesome Speed Champions cars from Lego. So if you want to save some money on a gift or something for yourself, make sure that you visit walmart.com or use the app. And thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now back to the tablet. Something else that I think is super underrated about the Tab S9 Ultra is DeX. If you're new to these high-end Samsung tablets, DeX reboots the Tab S9 Ultra and loads an OS that is similar to what you'd get on a laptop. It'll give you an actual desktop with icons, folders, a taskbar. You can open multiple windows, snap them to half the display, and even have floating windows. Now, Dex works great with a keyboard case, or you can actually connect your tablet to an external display and then get a dual display set up with an external mouse and keyboard. Now, realistically speaking, is it as powerful or capable as an actual laptop? Technically, no, we're still running mobile apps and there are still limitations with file management, but for most of what I do, it works great as a laptop replacement. Again, I wanna put that in context. Using Dex changes the user experience, but of course it doesn't impact performance. And speaking of that, Samsung used the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip on the Tab S9 Ultra, and with it, we're getting improved single and multi-core performance, better GPU performance, and a more efficient chip. Now, this hasn't really proven to make a significant difference for a lot of the less demanding things that I do because the Tab S8 Ultra is already fairly powerful. But the Tab S9 Ultra has definitely felt snappier and more responsive, and especially when I'm gaming or if I push it to the limits with something like video editing. For the average user, this upgrade probably isn't worth it for the actual performance right now, but keep in mind that having additional headroom in terms of performance, regardless of whether it's CPU or GPU, it just means that your tablet will continue to perform better for longer. Now, a lot of times over the past three months, I used my Xbox controller with the Xbox Game Pass app, at which point I'm only using the tablet as a display and then of course, the bigger, the better. And like the previous model, this tablet rocks. Now the camera upgrade is fine. To go along with the 13 megapixel wide, we're now getting an eight megapixel ultra wide versus six megapixels on the previous version. To be fair, I don't really use the rear facing cameras on my tablets because I always have my phone with me and something like the S23 Ultra has better cameras and it's also more convenient to use. And if you wanna see a side-by-side -side of the front-facing cameras of this tablet and the previous model, again, check out that video at the end of this one. Now, one feature that I've used a ton over the past three months is second screen. And again, I think it's something that's extremely underrated. Essentially, you can use the Tab S9 Ultra as an additional display for your Windows desktop or laptop. So if you've seen my main workstation, which is right over there, you know that it has seven displays because I use it to design and code but I always want more screen real estate, even if it's just to play a Netflix movie while I'm working. So being able to wirelessly add my Tab S9 Ultra as an additional display or to have a dual display set up when I travel with a laptop has been extremely helpful. Okay, so now let's talk about pricing because like I said, this is not a cheap tablet and it starts out at $1,199, which is $100 more than the Tab S8 Ultra was when it was released. Now to be fair, we're getting twice the memory in the base model, so 256 gigabytes. There's also a 512 gig model and a one terabyte model. 
Now, keep in mind that all of them come with a micro SD card slot, so you can very affordably add an additional terabyte of internal storage. But this is an awesome option, and I've used this internal storage for files, for videos and photos, and even to install apps. And this is definitely an edge that the Samsung tablets have over iPads, because first of all, just upgrading the internal storage is less expensive. And then you can also use the micro SD card slot, which means that you can save some money at the time of purchase and then spend it when you have it. So am I blown away by this release? It's hard to say. It's clearly better than the previous model. It's the best tablet that Samsung has ever made, but it's also more expensive. You do get an additional year of OS support and security updates, a more powerful and more efficient chip. You're getting a nicer display, and I love the protection from water and dust. Now you should check out how the Tab S9 Ultra matches up with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, or check out this comparison with the previous model. You know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.